Hello, this is Katie's Studio and today I'm bringing you um, a stencil bottle opener. Um, we are selling these as kits now, so included in your kit will be the bottle opener, two screws, two sponges, two colors. What I have here is a uh, Kemp Kelly green and a light brown, a little paintbrush, two paint palettes, a stencil, and a wood. This is my red chestnut color. The wood is sanded on the edges, cut five and a half by 18 inches, and pre-drilled with two holes. Okay. Your stencil will already have tape on both ends, um, but feel free to move it, and definitely double check to make sure it's centered. This one's a little bit off center, so I'm gonna fix that. The tape will last a, a little bit, so so that's all that comes in your art kit, okay? Uh, go ahead and set the bottle opener and the screws aside, unless you want to look and check on placement of your stencil. All right, so I'm going to put this a little bit lower and triple check, make sure it's centered. I don't want to fold the tape over. It'll make the stencil pop off. So I'm just going to rub that stencil on. I tore the tape, but it's still working just fine. And then I'm going to, I'm going to do this, the light brown and beer season in green. So I'm taking my light brown paint. I'm going to squeeze some of it on the plate. Here's my sponge brush. Now, here's the biggest thing with sponge brushes I want to make sure I dab 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 if I put it on my stencil like that all the paint is going to go right under so I need to dab it off a lot until I can see all the little holes in my stencil very very important to try to not get under your stencil now I'm going to go light pressure and go very 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 light you should be able, it should be a misty look right now. Some people like the looks misty look, some people don't. Either way you want to start this way. I'm going to go thick on this one. So I'm going to keep going up up up. And I'm going to do several layers. I don't need to let it dry between layers, so that's good. If you're new to stenciling, more layers is better. And there we go. I think that was about three layers of paint there. There we go. Now I'm going to use my other color. I'm going to use green, like I said, for down here. Squeeze some of that on my plate and same method. Now, this one is even more important because these are even closer together, so it's even more important. I go light, light, light. Dab, dab, dab. Make sure I can see all the holes in my brush. Hopefully you guys are getting a good angle on that. Light, light, light. I'm not, I don't worry about waiting for it to dry completely. And there we go. I have a little bit of leaking under my stencil. And that's okay. Next, I'm going to use my paint brush. So you know what? Some people leave it. I can go. But today, I'm going to demonstrate filling it in. You don't have to fill it in. If you think it looks good here, leave it just like that. That's okay. It's your project. You get to do what you want. So I'm just going to go lightly, and I'm going to finish. I'm going to. I'm going to fill in beer season today with my small paintbrush. Again, this step is completely optional. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I want to demonstrate it, Just and you do have a brush there to do this part if you wish. 